Namaste beautiful yogi. So welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing 20 minutes of anti-aging joint mobility yoga. Anti-aging face exercises, face, face yoga plus joint mobility because both of these can really enhance how we age, can help us age better. Joint mobility is so important and without further ado, let's get to the practice. Starting in a comfortable seated position, take a few nice deep breaths, roll the shoulders back and down, we want to relax all the muscles around the neck, that can help with our facial expression, roll forward, great, let's do a few neck rolls. Reverse it. Look up and press your chin forward, bottom lip forward, so that you're stretching all the muscles in the neck. So really press it. You find the place for you that leads to the most jaw release and stretch. You can tap it with your hand. Great, and let's bring the right hand right at the base of the neck and lower the head over to the right, right hand to the left head to the right, look up, let the neck stretch here and let the wrinkles on the neck iron out. They do, I know it's hard to believe but they do. I've been sporting a really smooth <laughs> neck lately due to this exercise, opposite side, just glide down. My skin has a lot of moisture to it because I ran down my uh, serum this morning so if you need you can add a little bit of oil here if it's if it's dry opposite side same thing lower down look up so first we lower down feel that stretch then look up beautiful hmm <laughs> now bring your <laughs> Bring finger to the eyebrow and the index to the corner of the eye. Lift the skin up, lower the head down, and really lift here. You can blow a kiss. Feel how it strengthens all the muscles. Opposite side, lift gently, glide up, relax the shoulder, blow a kiss. All right, joint mobility starts to sprinkle in. Take down dog and just do a few hip figure eights here, bending the knees and moving the hips in a figure eight fashion. Now draw a few circles with your knees and reverse the direction. Now take a sumo squat, press your elbows into the legs and come up and we'll continue with a few more facial exercises. So I'll show you the ones that I love a lot. You're going to bring your fingers right underneath the lips, here on the jaws basically, and you're gonna smile and press that muscle down. It will tone that muscle and it will lift your jaw up and it will give you a more chiseled, more toned jaw so that 
line here around the mouth lifts up so press and let's hold it for 20 seconds until the lactic acid builds up and burns that will give you the same feeling in your face that we'll get in the body after a workout just kind of a good circulation moving pressing so smiling and pressing and you'll find that muscle right here and you'll resist it with your fingers moving side to side in your sumo in your play a little more all right now we're gonna bring the fingers right where the lines around the mouth are you press slightly up and you blow a kiss again or you pucker your lips basically now do it a few times up until you feel the muscles connecting making the connection and you can move your nose up and down so blowing a kiss or puckering, puckering the lips let's do it for 20 seconds you'll find it it's it's quite particular but at the same time it's easy to find all right two more poses let's take a take a high lunge left leg leading two more uh, poses for the face the first one is the puppeteer face so you're going to bring your hands over and just gently open them out so you're basically ironing out all your wrinkles and then you smile without creating any wrinkles hold and let the lactic acid build one time more stretching the hip flexors as we do that all right changing sides one last pose this is the fish pose so smiling fish face this one is really good very famous and thai uh, face yoga pose so take your lunch and pucker your lips and then suck in the two sides and once you do that smile so the smile is not visible but it creates a lot of lactic acid build up here so it builds up your cheeks and it actually uh, leaves the corners of your lips you will see it right after you're done with the pose you can check in the mirror that you're doing it right it will leave the corners of your lips so all right this was about what more than five minutes of face yoga and that's totally enough so here we're just going to figure out the hips i hope your face feels fresh mine definitely feels fresh all right now knees together for circles knee circles this is really good it's part of um, um, Chinese anti-aging practices in certain Tai Chi um, morning exercises it's included it's really good all right standing on the toes on the heels toes heels for the strength of the ankles and the feet let's draw a few circles with the toes opposite side smile that's part of your face yoga and we are going to step onto the left leg and step the right leg behind you tuck the tailbone under and turn the knee down and stretch here stretch through the hip flexor 
opposite side. Stretching to the hip flexor. Now to activate that stretch, press your hips forward. Imagine you're just this graceful <laughs> archer. Beautiful. Let's shake, 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 shake. Shaking the wrists, the forearms, the arms. Shake the leg. Now just imagine that you're just jiggling the, the flesh. Shake, 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 shake. And from here, bend the knees, straighten the back, forward bend as far as you can. And then you will wrap your wrist around the elbows and let the head hang heavy. Great, hands on the floor, lower your knees down to all fours, spine youth. Cat cow pose, really arch, really round, really arch, really round, really arch, really round. Keep smiling, really round. Now we're gonna look at our tailbone, at our tail. So imagine you're a puppy and you're waggling your Tail, tail. Here we're gonna look and bring the so hips come to the right, head looks over the right shoulder, neutral spinal alignment, center, opposite side. So we're moving the spine in different directions, leading to its youth. Opposite side, opposite side, opposite side. Beautiful. Now sit onto your heels, stretching the quadriceps or between the heels, depending on where you're at. You can even lean for, uh, back. All right, here we'll lay down <laughs> for a quick pelvic swirl pose. So you're just going to lift the pelvis to the right and left. This is a good cool down as well. Just imagine your pelvis is a boat and you're shifting side to side. Mola banda in. Release, bring the right knee over the left knee, lower the knees to the side. Again, spinal youth, mobility, flexibility. Look away from your legs. opposite side give in to this coming out of this grab the backs of your knees and rock back and forth here, massaging the spine. You need some form of a padded surface here. And all the way to seated. Here we're gonna come into standing pose. A few hip mobility exercises. Feel free to hold on to something or just Work on your balance and draw circles with 
the knees feeling the hips here reverse it this is really activating also the adductors and abductors in our outer thighs opposite side working on the balance is part of i think it's one of the most important parts of anti-aging or preserving youth so this gives you the opportunity <laughs> to balance All right, a few more <sighs> hip swirls and now bring the spine in. So be a dancer or be a flowing river or be a tree, a young tree. Moving, 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 moving. Let's bring the arms in and you're just gonna move side to side. Channel your inner dancer and feel how this really awakens everything. It actually builds really good abs as well. So it's a way to just have a fun ab workout. You really have to connect them. Good. And now backwards and forwards. I had to bring a little more unconventional joint mobility exercises. A few more figure eights now back and forth with the hands. Open the chest. Open the arms out. And you can reverse the order of this, forming a wave with the arms. Reaching over the head. Let's do side bend to one side and then the other and really feel the length look up opposite side great exhale the hands behind you fingers interlacing lift through the heart open the chest this is a form of a back bend here hitting our posture And we we'll finish with an exercise for our expression, facial expression. So grab the very base of your eyebrows and pull the skin away from the bone. Fascia, the facial fascia release and then grab the middle of the eyebrow and pull out pull the skin away and see how this relaxes your optic nerve your eyes your muscles and a little further out grab you should feel good so if if, if it feels funky then back off uh, try again a different way this is just something that i don't understand why we don't do this eh? Uh, in school every day, especially with all the reading, computers, and <sighs> frowning. So do this a few more times, starting at the center. And middle and out. One more time. Center, middle out and now bring your fingers at the center and move your fingers out at the same time creating the 11s the frown so you're not going to allow it to happen and you see how this creates a burn in that muscle and even connects to the muscles in the nose it can actually help with the nose not sagging over time all right keep do this a few times Massage your fingers out. You should feel really good. You should feel really refreshed after. So massage the fingers out and for frown. Create the 11s or try to create the 11s. Again. And again. And again. Beautiful. Bring your fingertips or your index finger right where your eyebrows are and press them out and slightly down out and slightly down and now open your eyes 
as bright as you can without wrinkling the forehead so you feel those muscles firing up here this helps with uh, hooded eyes and just in general tired looking eyes it also helps with vision with your vision and your eyes staying younger so open relax open and you feel the resistance of your fingers firing up the muscles this one if not if none of the others felt super important to you this one should feel amazing you can even look side to side which also helps to improve or at least preserve the vision ah good all right just massage the forehead from the center out and here you can massage right on the sides under the jaw you can even massage with the knuckles avoid the center part where the throat is just the muscles you can even flex the the mouth to see where that muscle is and massage it that muscle can get very strong from chewing and tension a little bit of a massage <sighs> massage at the base of the head <sighs> hands in prayer turn the hands down turn the palms of the hands out top of the hands in and press your elbows down gently so that you're stretching the wrist You can press the hands up so you spin them towards you and up and feel the stretch now the entire time try to keep the other and the inner wrists equally close to each other to the other one release and draw a circle as if you're maybe swimming on your back or something like that connect with your core as usual here you can if you have a wall you can grab a wall otherwise just pull with your opposite hand you will bring the hand as far down as you can until you feel that stretch all through the forearm keep the outer and the inner edge of your wrist on the door otherwise you're just going to create compression on one side of the wrist and many people have sensitivities with the wrists so it's important to do it properly don't overstretch the stretch should be extremely mild you should feel it more than doing nothing but it should feel good so for me that's about here for a very flexible person could be further down but for many people would be further up actually Say, oh, same thing that we did with the double hands again press outer and inner uh, edge of the wrist and this time walk your hand up but the contact of the outer and inner wrist should be exactly the same relax the shoulder relax the face we've worked quite a bit on different areas of the face so your face should feel very refreshed opposite side relax soften the forearm should be stretching nicely and now walk the hand down stretch it you can do the fingers up walking the hand down the fingers down walking the hand up with the opposite hand as well and that's about it this you can do throughout your day whenever you need to if you're working on a computer a lot if you feel that your hands can use the stretch and with this 
we conclude this session. I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't intense, but it was, I think, pleasurable. So let me know in the comments below if you like classes like this and I'll keep on going. Give it a like or a comment so that I know that this is a desirable format. And thank you all for joining me today. I feel very, very blessed and grateful for each and every one of you joining me on these mini journeys. And remember to flow through your day with strength and ease. Namaste.